Greetings, my minions, and welcome back to Attack of the B-Team Mod Pack with yours truly, Dr. Professor Dumble Frankensaurus Jr. here under the tiki bar in the hidden secret laboratory of mad science and necromancy. And it's been, wow, it's been a while since I've been on the server. I, I know, Slippers, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm back, I know it's been a while. Here, run free, you've been sitting there for... Several days. You too, Igor. Stretch those little feet. Uh, you can go stretch them somewhere else, though. You don't have to follow me. I know. Uh, yeah. We're going to do something. Now, I know I, I said that in the last episode, but really, we're going to do something, but, but not this episode. So, anyway. <clears throat> yes, I apologize that I have been away for a while, and uh, let's take a look at the docket here and see what's cooking for the day. First of all, we're going to take a look at this gift from Glisco that he left behind. We took a look at it. Would you stop scratching the rugs? All well, the rocks or whatever it is down there. Don't you talk back to me. I don't need your flat cat. Jeez. Uh, then we're going to go find Shep in town. We're going to move him. Apparently, his position has been compromised. I think one of the uh, crime bosses, Schism, has discovered Shep's location in the trees over by the prison camp. And he's, um, I think he might have been captured. We're going to go check him and see what's cooking. We're gonna tour Flim Flam Street and try to get caught up with what's happening in town again. I've been gone for a week or so. Uh, just very busy in real life, doing mad science uh, in real life, of course. And uh, I apologize for, for disappearing for a little while. But we're, So we're gonna go, go into town and see if we can figure out what's been happening over there while we were away. And over here we are going to create, in town that is, a newsroom on Flim Flam Street for good our, our news reporter, um, Good Herb Spicer, Nobel Prize winner. All right, here we are in Flim Flam Street, and the checkpoint's still here. It looks like Schism and Corrales' soldiers are still in power here. All right, it doesn't look like much has changed here. I still see soldiers. I see a lot of guns. Um, Mommy Poo. <gasps> uh oh, Mayor Mommy Poo is missing. That doesn't bode well for the alliance between Chimney and I. Now, I understand that some of the other guys are taking sides all of a sudden. It sounds like... It sounds like uh, Generic B took the side of the Flim Flammers. I'm pretty sure. Gliss hasn't decided yet, but he's. I, I think he's leaning toward the good guys. That would be me, Chim, and Pungence. I'm pretty sure Pungence is now on our side. What are you doing over here, B-double-O? You holding that up? Guns. He's got guns, too. I think we know what side B-double-O is on. <laughs> uh -huh. Great. My uh, Camp Cluck is still under the control of enemy... of hostile forces. Opposition forces. Op 4. And I don't think much else has happened here. Um, now let's check on Shep. I see Shep. What? Shep! Who is that little dude in there with you? That's a little mini schism. That's schism's little boy. <laughs> I guess Shep's position has been compromised after all, and he's got the little kid in there. You know what's gonna have to happen, don't you? Oh, all right, we gotta save. Hey, put me down. This kid does this all the time. Get out of here, kid. Don't run away. No, no, get back. Oh, no. All right, I'm getting out of here. I, 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 I know nothing. Am I in cat mode here? The little kitty, he's strong. He's like Bam. Bam Bam. Who's that one in Fred Flintstone? That little baby. Is not his name Bam Bam? He picks everybody up. He's like super strong. Bam Bam. Little Bam Bam here. Kid, you're going to fall. Let, 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 hold on, kid. Come back. No. Wait. Stay. I'm going to put you back, because I don't want to be responsible for you. We're the good guys after all, so... I'm not going to steal someone. Uh-uh. It's not my style. I'm not a kidnapper. Stay right there, kid. We're going to do something about you. I just don't know what yet. Schisms, kid. All right, here's all the peacekeepers still under armed guard here at the prison camp. Overlooking Camp Clock. Yep. Okay. 
We still have this. Hey, Schism, shut up. <laughs> That's got to be pungent. Uh, I'm sure everybody's seen this by now. This is Schism threatening um, Pig Girl with a raw pork chop. We got Herb Spicer here. Herb. I'm going to have to take Herb, Pig Girl. I'm sorry. I know you guys have a lot of business to take care of, but... Herbs come with me, because what I heard was that Herb, who was formerly working for the BBC, I'm trying to fly, but I can't as a human, he did work for the BBC, the British Broadcasting Company, but he's decided he's going to go full-time Flim Flam News, Flim Flam Street News. He's going to open up a, uh, a news studio, as I had said, here in town, so we have to give him a name change. And wouldn't it be grand to have the news station right across the street from Pig Girl's law office. Huh? Yep. That way, you know, they do have a lot of meetings and they don't have to travel too far to get together when uh, when they have to put together those important, important news reports to combat the crime here in Flim Flam Street. So I, I, I you know, I got a lot of respect for Herb for taking on this challenge and quitting his um, his high profile job at the BBC to work for Flim Flam News. By the way, there is a Twitter account. Flim Flam News, I believe it is. I'll see if, if I remember. I'll put it down in the description below. Um, a fan came up with that. I thought it was pretty clever. And he's been tweeting out the events that's, that have been going on here. Not just with my stuff, but other people too. So that's probably a good way to stay on top of what, uh, what's been going on in town. And that's what Herb is going to be reporting upon. So Herb Spicer's news will be right there, I think. Flim Flam Street News Studio. And that's what we're going to build but first. I need to go and collect some materials for that. And again, I apologize. I would normally have that stuff already prepared and tested. But I've been really busy here at home in the real life with various camping trips and vacations and just... You know, family stuff in general. So I haven't really had much time to do any collecting or anything like that off camera. So, oh, oh, that's right. B double O made, made Necro Nanny. Oh, that's excellent. Hey, Necro Nanny, guess what we're going to do for you? We're going to give you a name as well. Because <laughs> B double O didn't do that. Oh, that's great. It looks like schism. All right, I'm going to go put the Necro Nanny away. And then, uh, and then we'll get started on that build. I would like to at least get something uh, constructive done today rather than just walking around getting depressed about our town here and the direction that it's headed in. There you go, Necro Nanny. Yeah. <laughs> Great idea. Great idea from a fan. All right. That's it for that. Let me go get organized and get collected, items collected, and then... We're going to build our newsroom. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, my minions. I have returned, and I do believe I have everything I need in order to make Herb Spicer here. A nice little newsroom from which he may report the news of Flim Flam Street more quickly and efficiently since he'll, be, uh, he'll have his finger on the pulse of the street being so close to it. And we don't... And we'll be avoiding any potential red tape over at the BBC and, and maybe any even uh, political backlash. So you are free to report the news any way you desire. You are now the owner of this, well, soon-to-be lovely news station. And before we get started there, Herb, I'm going to go and deliver this piece of bacon, uh, um, evidence to Pig Girl so that she may have it analyzed. You can bring this over to the law enforcement agency. Do we have one of those? I'm not sure. Oh, by the way, how was your uh, date with Pungents? Everything good? Hmm? Does he know what he's getting into with you? Hmm? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. There you go. If you wouldn't mind having that checked out. That's what Schism left behind. I don't know who it belongs to. But um, it might be some sort of a lead. <sighs> okay, Herb. Let's do this, my friend. You just sit back, relax, and I'm going to build a whole dang ca kitten caboodle. Not a kitten caboodle. I don't even know what a kitten caboodle is. This gift, we still don't know what the heck that is. <laughs> All right. We didn't move Shep, but we took him. Uh, we kind of did that, didn't we? I got a small song. 
I don't know. I don't know, folks. I'm sorry, but once again, I am short on time here, so we're going to build just a tiny little place that uh, Herb can call his own and shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. Now, usually, I build off camera first just to get an idea of what I'm going to do. I haven't done that in this case. This is going to be totally blind going in uh, without any clue what this thing's going to look like, except for one picture I just snagged off Google. That is a newsroom. I did newsroom, search, image, and I have a desk. And that was all I have. So I think what we're going to do is first put down the floor. Um, I want to build the desk up first. I want to make sure we have enough room. And the desk is going to be... I wish I could make these into slabs. Um, should we walk up onto it? Put this right into the ground. I guess that seems that seems really high. I think what we might do is have... Uh, geez, see, already I don't know what, what I'm doing. Yeah, you know, no, let's get rid of this. Let's just put it in the ground. But the desk, I'd love to have the desk be mahogany. Now we're going to have to put some cameras and stuff in here too. Like a nice, deep, rich mahogany would look pretty interesting, wouldn't it? And we're going to go one more five, because the chair's going to go here. In fact, I have a chair... Leftover chair. Uh, this jungle seat. From when I was working on Pig Girl's place. Now, I wonder if that has to be pushed back just a little bit. The problem is we're right up against Corrales' place. And I still want to have that back wall here. He's going to get all angry at us, isn't he? Maybe I can move this up one. Oh, that is really small. Let's put the let's just put the chair here. Because you know how the news person sits there, right, at the desk? You can barely, you can't really see the chair. Although I, I want to make a backed chair. This is a seat of some sort. I think I can put a jungle backing on this thing. This one. You don't want fancy like that. It's not for a king or anything. It's a work seat. Jungle back. Oh, there we go. Wool. Okay, that's easy enough. I just have to get some wool. I don't think I have any wool. I do not. Are there any sheeps around? All right, we'll hold off on that for now. At least let's get the rest of this put up. So now here's something interesting that I saw in this picture. We've got this blue, and I think I can get rid of this brick right now. We're not even going to make the exterior yet. I got this uh, this lapis, the bone meal, and a lot of glass because I want the back to be like this blue colored glass. Looks really nice. Um, check it out. I'm going to make it now. It's just stained glass like that. I love these colors. So a light blue stained and a dark blue stained. It's just glass, of course, which is clear and beautiful. When you break it, you get the piece back. How cool is that? I don't know. Let, let's just try it. Let's get the map. I'm going to put the map on this blue right here. Um, oh, you know what, though? The map is only going to be four. So it's not going to be centered. I might have to I might have to extend the map a little more. Is what I'm saying. Let's try the light now. Let's see how that looks. It looks like a fish tank almost, doesn't it? It's not really exactly what I pictured. I thought this was going to be more solid color. All right, my minions. I think I'm onto something here. So I've switched to stained clay instead of the glass. And I like the solid much better. I, I had assumed that this glass was going to be more solid. I thought it was going to look like it looks like here. So I was a little bit shocked at first when I saw that uh, it was, well, like glass. And I did not expect that. I was going to work with it, but clearly... That's not what we want in a newsroom. We don't want Herb to be distracted um, with what's going on around. So he needs to have nice, solid walls. So I think I think this is going to work out better. So now what we want to do is just finish this up. I think we're going to go up another one. We'll cut those out there in the back in a second. I don't need those. So we'll go up like that, right? And we'll have the map right here behind him. I made up two new maps, so that's going to give us six maps total. I had four from our uh, Camp Cluck over there. Yeah. Yeah, much better. 
So I already have some of the maps done. Again, this was done back when I made Kent Cluck for my command center that I never actually got around to making because we were invaded. Oops. I gotta get the frames. The other... Those frames. So I'm gonna have to fly around and fill those up. But let's put the frames down. And I don't remember which is which. Oh, here we go. Right. Yeah, duh. Um, let's see. Are we on here? Well, there we are. Oh, look at Camp Cluck. That's awesome. All right, there we go. There's our map of Flim Flam Street and surrounding territories. And Herb Spicer is going to sit right there in that chair and have that in the background. And it'll look all official-like. And everyone's going to believe every word he says because he looks so important and official. Right? Right. Let's, um, that's how it works. Uh, let's make that seat back. So I just had that recipe. Wool, slab, two sticks. Real simple. Let's see if I can remember that. Wool, right, and a slab, and two sticks, and a back. Nice. So now what? <laughs> By the way, I added the glass here on the sides. I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, apparently, I'm not going to be adding brick to the outside. So I spent all that time making that brick, but I think I might just leave it as a purple, kind of modernized-looking building. Okay, figured it out. Thanks to the Bibliocraft website. And it's uh, essentially just click on it in the world. So, boom. Wow. That was the next thing I was going to try. <laughs> oh, Herb, this place is really coming along. But I, I don't want you to see it yet. No, you just stay right there. Close your eyes. Or just, well, you keep open, I guess. Um, just don't come around the corner. Oh, uh, awesome. Oh, yeah. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, this is so cool. The problem, again, the problem with this is there's so many things you can do that uh, I mean, you can literally spend days on this. And it's not really my thing. Um, I think I need that for the nubby wubby. There's a nubby wubby. And I think I can put those little nubby wubbies and get mini wubby wubbies. So much wub. Let's try that. Oh, you're a large nub. Can you make a smaller nub? Oh, that's a teeny weeny weeny nub. I didn't know they got any smaller than that other one. Jeepers. Okay. Me like. Oh, jeez. There we go. <laughs> wow. This is excellent. I love it when a plan comes together. Now, door, roof, decoration, and all that jazz. I just probably am going to do that off camera and rugs and things like that. But uh, I think that's pretty good. Oh, wait a minute. And a TV. That's a crayfish guy. It's wood and redstone and a glass pane. Um, regular wood. Oh, no. I have to chop a tree? I think I converted all my wood. <sighs> I'm not going to use my mahogany. Eh, eh. Oh, no, what? Got it. <laughs> and some redstone. And I think I have a glass pane. And egads. I'm just about out of space. I'm probably going to need all that again. But anyway, let's just do this. Let's do the TV. Does it have to be Chinese? No, okay. Redstone. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. I have a workbench right here. Let's make a couple... Oh, wooden pants! <laughs> Who knew? Wait a minute. I didn't know you could make wooden pants. <laughs> well, you can get right into the jungle with those things, huh? Wooden leggings. What the heck? Might be a little stiff, no? I'm not sure how this TV is going to look. It's a pretty old looking television. And. <laughs> Can you reskin this thing? Because, yeah, that wood doesn't really. Ma Actually, it's not too shabby. It almost, it almost matches the mahogany. I have returned. And while it was just mere moments for you, it was actually a full day for me. A full real life day has passed and I had plenty of time to ponder a, a topping for Herb Spicer's news station here. And in the end, I went with brick merely because I had lots of it. 
uh, but also because I think it looks pretty nice. And so, what? Wow, look at all the minions just staring at me, waiting patiently for me to do something. They're all like, when are you gonna get us out of here, man? You made us, now get us out. <laughs> Hang on, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get you out of there. We just have to do this through proper channels. Ooh, maybe I can bribe this guy. He's out of uniform. Hey, Steve. Oh, no, maybe not. Anyway, yeah, so I went with the brick. I think it looks nice. Um, so I did all that off camera because we're already at, uh, wow, I've already recorded like 40 minutes, so I'm going to have to chop this video up a lot. But I did want to do the last bit of interior decorating with you guys. As you can see here, I have surrounded our TV monitors with these iron covers, um, and I hung them up here on the wall. Oh, yeah, we got some strips in here. Um, because we can't texturize these TVs, I thought that might look a little nicer than that wood. That wood didn't really match. So that came out pretty well. I like it. So now, let me show you something. So I, I hired Pungents, who's on, a, on the good guys team, right? He's here right now. I asked if he had any ideas for making a camera, because I want a video camera that's going to be facing Spicer and recording him, right? So he said, he came over here and made up a nice little camera, and he gave me a bunch of pieces here too, and I'm going to try to re-simulate this thing. I've got it in my head. I did knock it down because I wanted to do it with you guys, but he used basalt pavers. And basalt is just uh, a block that you can get, I think, around the volcanic um, areas, biomes, and also down deep down underground. So we've got some here, and really all we need is these uh, strips. Let me get rid of the iron strips. We're done with the iron stuff for now. I just wanted to show you guys those TV monitors. And a basalt paver post. So these are just um, sawed down into these bits, right? I don't need that anymore. Now, we were trying all kinds of things from microphones and cameras. Um, a shower head actually popped up. <laughs> and it turns out we might use that for sprinklers, for fire sprinklers. It worked out pretty well. Um, but he had, let's see, he also made up a, check this out. Um, this is a reinforced armory thing here. Yeah, these. Uh, futuristic armor plating block. And we really only need one of those. I think he, ch he may have chiseled that. I don't think it was that particular texture. So while he worked on the camera, I worked on a microphone. And again, I wanted to do this with you guys on camera here just to... Can you do... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, which one did he have? Let's try that one. Yeah. And that, that might match, too. So we had a frame and then a piece of glass and a little button on the side. Let's go try this. Now, I did some tw um, tweaking off camera on a single player world because these things when when I break them it sometimes crashes the server it's kind of a pain so let's see he had this right in front hanging up in the center block right there right and then he had this futuristic block underneath and I'm not sure if he had the same texture but this is fine oh yeah oh yeah I like it and I was going crazy trying to find something to make it look like a camera because we have so many things here available, right? With this mod pack, all kinds of crazy stuff. He's like, how about a picture, how about a frame and uh, a glass block? I'm like, oh yeah, that's so old school, but how, how did I not think of that? It worked out awesome. So let's put this, he actually had a regular piece of glass and I have the solid piece. Eh. Well, maybe I like his better. Ooh, bubble. Let's try bubble. Uh-huh, that's the one. Okay, thanks for your input. Now, let's try this button. Now, he had the button on the side. Can we put the button on the bottom? No, that's why I had it on the side. And you click that, and it lights up, but then it goes off. But doesn't that look awesome when it's lit up like that? We tried some things to keep it lit. Didn't work. Uh, maybe you guys have some suggestions. But anyway, so that's the camera that's watching Mike. Uh, Mike, um, Herb, I don't know where the mic came from. <laughs> so uh, now what do we need? Oh, we need a microphone. That's maybe why I thought a microphone. Yeah, Mike. So check this out, right? So here's something that I was playing around with. I've got some, some wool. I don't need much. Just a couple of pieces here because we want to knock this down. Let me show you this microphone. Now we've got the, uh, oh, the basalt paver strip. Now we're using a strip for this, and I'm going to need... To put something here because the strip doesn't work unless you have something to attach it to. Now check this out. So 
herb is going to sit right here, and we have a microphone. Um, yeah, that's that's good. I want it nice and low, right next to his face. And I had this, like, on the end like that. Um, well, let's just, let me just show you the red first. I guess I don't need this anymore. So that's the microphone. Look at Herb over here, all patient. He is so patient. I wish my kids were as patient as you, Herb. Okay, I was just looking at the uh, the bad guy's antenna over there to try to get some ideas. So let's just um, let's put it right here in the center. It's not going to be as impressive as theirs with that inverted lamp thing on the top because I don't have any of those. But we are going to go higher. <laughs> we get a better range. <laughs> and then that, and then I'm going to copy them on the sides. Let's go a little higher. Higher is better after all, right? Perfect. Okay. Now, let's get back down here. And I wanted to make these lights. Check these lights out. I need lighting in here. Um, so I found these, the crayfish, Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. Real easy to make, glowstone, stone, and obsidian. So I've got plenty of this. Glowstone, and where's my stone? It's already here, okay, and that. So we'll make a bunch of these. Glowstone, and uh, hello stone, and obsidian. And we're gonna get, uh, what the heck, we'll make eight of those. And the question is, oh, maybe we should hang them from the paver posts. So let's put these, we've got four of them. One there. One there. One there. Probably should have tried this first. <laughs> oh, it works. Dang it. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, those are pretty thick though, huh? But we can't use the corners. These corners can't go in the center. But that's that's fine. Listen, close enough for government work, and they can be turned on, which is pretty sweet. All right, Herb. He's looking at me like, when, when, when? I can't wait to see it. All right, that's cool. I think we're done here. I might add some plants in the back. You know, make it look nice. And obviously, we're gonna do a little landscaping around the outside to make it look pretty. But uh, that's pretty much it. Now, there's one more thing I wanted to do. I'm going to change the sign. Now, I don't know if I'd mentioned, but there is a Twitter account called Flim Flam News. And it is a fan. And this is uh, in dedication to him. So, Flim Flam Street News. And follow at Flim Flam. Flam News. That is it right there. Follow at Flim Flam News. I'll put a link down below in the description. And the uh, the fellow that's running that, I'm assuming it's a fellow, it might be a lady, um, does tweet out every now and then about uh, what's happening here in Flim Flam Street. So if you want to stay abreast of what's going on here, that might be a good uh, account to follow. So there you go. Big shout out to Flim Flam News. And hey, Herb, I think it's time. You want to bring the lady out and impress her? Hi, pig girl. Have you investigated that piece of pork yet? I don't think so. Come on out. Come on. We can do interviews, too. Maybe I'll have to put another chair here. Herb, you got to see this, buddy. I think we're ready. Come on, Herb. Come on in, dude. Check it out. Whoa, he just ran right in. He's loving this place. <laughs> Did you see him go in there? Oh, <laughs> he likes it. It makes me happy that you like it, Herb. Oh, yeah, check him out. Oh, that's great. Herb, you look fantastic back there. Are you ready to go live? Okay, good. Three, two, one. You're live. Roll him. Okay, now he's going to report the news. And you guys can follow him, Flim Flam News, on uh, Twitter. All right. Check it out. <laughs> and I, with that, I think we're done here. Wow, this was a, 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 quite the project, wasn't it? But we are done. I'm going to put some lamps out front, I think. Right now, we're just going to do the torches. Um, now, nah, let's get some impressive lamps. I'm going to get some better lamps. We need, like, a street lamp over here. 
All right, anyway, hope you all enjoyed, and it is now time for me to fly. So we'll see you all in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed, and if you did, a like is always appreciated. So long. Have a nice weekend.